I'm going to go by my rating criteria is going to be taste to price ratio. I got to throw Dunkin' Donuts in there because they got hot chocolate and they got fucking delicious as fuck donuts, okay? So okay. Dunkin' so Donuts is going up there. At the top and then you're putting Chipotle? Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm going to put Five oh. Guys as my S class. Five Guys is good, but that shit is hella fucking expensive. And it's, it's not that good. It's very expensive. Yeah, it's, it's very not that pricey. Good. I agree. I'm gonna throw Little Caesars on there on my S class too for all my college no. bros out there. Oh, dude, but it's so cheap. Like I don't five dollar pizza like, and crazy no, bread. There was, oh, crazy bread. You've never had crazy. You've never had crazy no, bread. No, I've had crazy bread. Like I've and had. I've had a lot of Little Caesars, like a lot. And there was just this one time, you know. And all it takes is one time. And I just don't think they have the consistency to be S. I don't agree at all. You're just well. Not it's consistent. not that I don't agree. It's just that you're wrong. Like. What I'm do you mean they're not wrong. consistent? It's five dollar. Listen, you don't even know the cheat code. Let me give this straight. Here, let me guess. You got a bad pizza, didn't you? Right? Yeah. Listen, when you go into Little Caesars, you have I to request. I actually knew a guy Listen. in high school that used to masturbate okay. into the pizza dough. Listen. Okay, I don't know what kind of a special pizza dough you're looking for, but listen, guys out there, if you want the top secret Little Caesars hacks, what you need to do is you need to go into Little Caesars, you need to order a pizza, and you just need to get one special topping Are we topping talking secret on. menu now? No, 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 just one special topping. Ask for, like, green peppers or something, and they'll cook you the pizza fresh. So you're not getting a bunch of those pizzas that have been held for a long time, which is how Little Caesars operate so quickly. They know. They what? probably know that you're just saying that you want green peppers. Who cares? It doesn't matter. So They're going to make you a new pizza. fucking it's pizza, It's just like dog. going to McDonald's and saying and you asking want fries, for fries without with no salt. salt. Yeah, dude, it works. This shit works. Where would you put McDonald's? Okay, McDonald's and Burger King are sitting on the B tier. Like, those are no, decent places. No, no. I'll agree with know. Burger King being there, but McDonald's is just so consistent. Can They're consistently name, can meh. Name, no, can you name a restaurant as consistent as McDonald's? Any, what, have, you ever had, that consistent? have you ever had McDonald's that was just so bad? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, you haven't. I don't believe it. Have you McDonald's ever been out? Okay, well, if your mom and dad cold. are making you go to bed at 9 o'clock, then maybe. But if you go out late at night at McDonald's, yeah, you can get some bad fucking McDonald's food. Yeah, I've plenty of time. Yeah, and it's like, it, you, okay, if you had to choose between late night McDonald's or late night Burger King, what would you choose? McDonald's every time. Late well, night McDonald's or late night Taco Bell. McDonald's Burger, every time. Don't, late don't night McDonald's or late night Wendy's. McDonald's every time. No, no, no. Burger King. I don't even think Burger King holds their burgers. Does anybody here know? Anybody here worked at Burger King? Does anybody McDonald's, here work Burger King? McDonald's holds their shit for fucking two hours in their little container trays, and you get some old as fuck burgers. I'm pretty sure um, Burger well, King. Well, do you know what? There was actually a woman who left her McDonald's out for a year, and it didn't like hardly expire at all. It pretty much still looked the same, and I think that says a lot for them. No, it, t it probably tastes horrible, though. Yeah, but it's like the presentation. Like, she left it out for like a year and it didn't spoil at all. That says a lot for McDonald's, right? What? How, did you see a Burger King burger left out for a year? Okay, if you had to eat a Burger King burger left out for a year or a McDonald's burger left out for a year, you'd choose McDonald's, right? Well, the Burger King burger is flame broiled, so I bet they would kill all the bacteria better. So I'm going to go with the Burger King one there. Quiznos gets um, up there between S and S+. Plus. Quiznos I can't... is... Quiz... <laughs> Quiznos is hidden OP. Do you even have any like taste at all? What the fuck? Popeyes or KFC? Popeyes is always better than KFC in every way. So okay, I, should I agree with you on that. So you're saying S for Popeyes? KFC is pretty good though. KFC can go under A. They got some ball and mashed potatoes too. Yeah, KFC's mashed potatoes. KFC's potato wedges are pretty decent too. Yeah. Yeah, sure. but I think overall the chicken, the Popeyes, like the batter is better. Subway is healthy as shit and they got decent variety. I think Subway is solid. I put that on an ass. Is that okay? But what about the whole Jared thing being a pedophile? Don't you think that that should make them go down just because of their public image? No, no I think it's okay. You know, a lot of people like Hente and like the, um, what do you know. call the Lollycon or whatever. So I think it's okay. Yeah, okay. Sonic, Sonic ice cream fucking... gives me diarrhea. Listen, no. Okay, Sonic is very, very fatty, but they have the best oh. shit. Everything they make is literally the best shit. I mean, okay? it is good. It is the best shit. But the Dairy shit. Queen ice cream is way better. The Dairy Maybe. Queen chicken basket is way better. Okay, but like their the food. Dairy they Queen have a double bacon basket. cheeseburger that's literally like 1,136 calories. Have you had their it's jalapeno like the peppers? Yeah, I have. So they're good. pretty good. And they're and if you go for breakfast, oh my god, they've got they're like yeah, the thing and yeah, the things filled with um. With uh, cream cheese, they give you like the cinnamon dipping sauce. Holy oh, fuck. I, a lot of people get mad about me putting White Castle at the bottom, but it's like, I don't live by a White Castle. The closest White Castle is like two hours away from me. And you know, everybody's always ranting and raving about White Castle. 
and I tried it and I was really excited to try it. Like I was actually in um, St. Louis and St. Louis has a White Castle, which is like four hours away from Kansas City. And I was like, oh, I finally get to try White Castle. And it was fucking dog shit. It was dog shit. It was terrible. And it's like, you would think that a restaurant that has like a fucking movie made about it and people like going out of their way to get White Castle, you'd think it would be really fucking good with all the fucking hype. But it's like, no, it's not, it's awful. Jack in the Box is not good. It's okay. It's just like really greasy. You know, a lot of people want to talk like McDonald's is greasy, but it's not. McDonald's is actually sponsored, is actually a sponsor of the Olympics. Olympians eat McDonald's. Do you know at the last Olympics in fucking Mexico or wherever the fuck it was, um, with all the litter or whatever, like, all of the Olympians were in line getting McDonald's the next day for breakfast. I saw pictures of it on Twitter. Usain Bolt eats McDonald's. Yeah, he's really fast. He's like the fastest man in the world. I'd fuck him. Like, given the chance you wouldn't fuck the fastest man in the world just to say oh, that wow. you did. Do you think he's like really fast at like thrusting too?